Great. So you want to put together a digital story, or maybe you've already been doing this in your practice with your cell phone or your computer. It's very easy to make a story, but have you thought about how important it is to select correct images and video footage for your story? Let me walk you through this here for a few minutes. When we're putting together a digital story, we have a huge obligation to our viewers and to the audience that's going to watch that video to represent an accurate depiction of the world around us. I would even go so far to say that we have a responsibility to share an image of the world that we want to see. It's an opportunity as the creator and editor of a video to create a visually engaging story, but one that is also accurate and that represents a plethora of the things that are happening in our world. An example can be the intentional selection of images that represent diversity, justice, equity, and inclusion right? This is an action that we can take through the selection of images and videos that we would put together in our videos. This is incredibly powerful. We have a chance to represent not only different people, uh, different types of gender representation, but also color and dynamics that people engage with in different settings. The representation of the world that we want to see is an incredibly powerful thing when we're putting together a visual representation, certainly a video. So how does one go about bolstering the textual narrative with visually supporting images and videos that are relevant and engaging? One thing would be to question the images and the videos that you're putting into your videos. Are they accurate? Do they represent the whole entire story? If someone is missing in the representation, how can we engage that piece of information in the video? How can we bring that up? Maybe it's orally through the text and the narrative, or maybe there are juxtaposition of images that create the full picture that we're trying to share. You know, it's not just about changing how things look, but it's about questioning how we represent things visually. We wanna make sure that we're representing everybody fairly in videos and that we're giving not only us, but our students a chance to see the world through a different lens, to see the world that maybe we want to be a part of. So as our students engage with digital stories, they're not just learning through the text and the audio that's represented, but they're also picking up that other tacit information that's woven together with the text, the narration, and the videos and the images that we put together. They're really laced as a one cohesive unit in a video that we put together. There's also a chance to enhance or further the conversation that the viewer might have, especially if something's not represented in the video. So if you are showing a laboratory scene, you know, the classic image that you may pull up potentially may be a white man in a lab suit performing some sort of act of science. Maybe he's holding a beaker or something like that, looking through a microscope. But this is an opportunity right now as the editor and the creator of the story to think, is that the full picture? Is that the representation that we really wanna have in this particular video? So it's a chance to challenge some of those preconceived notions that we may have or the ways that we operate when we're selecting images. Is this the full story? Um, you know, when you think about justice, equity, and inclusion, and diversity conversations, I think we have a tremendous opportunity to be almost checklisty about it. Think through the images, think through the things that we're sharing in these videos to make sure we're capturing the full picture. I look forward to you working on the assignment that is um, paired with this video and thinking about the conversations that come up as you look through the next set of images.